hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to design the stylish animated progress bar in our qtqml application you have seen this kind of functionality on many website whenever we open any web website that time a specific progress bar come on screen for this some time also we have seen this kind of functionality on our mobile application also whenever we open any application that time a specific progress bar occur on this screen so in this video you will see how to, how to design this kind of functionality in our QTQML application also. So let's start. First of all, import the required module like QTQ controls, also layouts, and also effective QT graphical effect. So use QT5 compact graphical effect. Okay. Now let's create the one rectangle. So first of all set the anchor property center in our parent also. Also let's set the width and height property. So here we, we set the specific width here right. So width is 320 and height is 100 okay. Now also we can set the height is uh, 200 also. Now let's set the um, background color for here. So let's set the black background color okay. Now let's create a one rectangle also to create tier or design the progress bar control so here i set the id as a progress bar uh, background progress background also set where width is 300 and uh, height is uh, only 30 set the anchor property so anchor vertical is center is a parent dot vertical center and anchor dot horizontal center as a parent now also set the color for that background so let's set the some light color okay now set the radius to smooth and curve progress bar and now set the z so here i set the layer okay so this is the first layer now let's create the second layer which is our progress bar so now let's create the rectangle also first of all set the id so this is the first rectangle is our progress background and this is a our progress bar okay so set the width as a zero and height is also parent dot height okay now set the radius here also so set is the same as a parent and set the color also now let's set the simple shine color okay here now set the smooth property to smooth scaling and set the layer index as a one now let's create the third layer for the which is our text property okay so to display the our text uh, progress bar value so simply just copy this code and put into our progress background rectangle and now add one layer is our text layer where we display the our progress bar value so set the anchor property anchor property is our center in dot parent now here we have to set the specific uh, value so let's set the around value of our uh, where here we use the uh, progress bar width divided by progress bar background width okay so we get the one ratio and into 100 add a percentage sign okay now set the some font property to display attractive size so set the uh, 15 and also set the bold property bold as a true and set the color as a black 
so our background progress bar color is shine so black color will be uh, give more contrast okay now this is the our z property so our progress bar is almost ready okay so this is our progress bar control we design our customized progress bar where this is a background and this is our progress bar value okay so now let's create a one button control okay to start the progress okay so set the start and also set the anchor property horizontal center and top property is our uh, background bottom property over okay so we display the our button on the bottom of the our progress bar okay set some margin here so top margin is a uh, top margin will be a 20 so when i click on the on click uh, or but on the our button control we set the first of all our progress bar value now consider the width as our value okay so width with equal to zero and now here we have to start the our animation okay so for that we have to create the animation control first of all so now let's create the one number animation okay and we apply the number animation on our via width property okay so id is a progress any okay so now here is the start okay now here we use the which property our width property so just simply copy this property name and paste here now here we have to set the uh, two value for the maximum so here consider as a background is a 300 so we apply the uh, yeah, here 300 and set your duration so let's set your 200 2000 here async type is a more important so simply bouncing if it let's set async dot out bounce we apply the more async type later on that now let's run the application and check it first of all wait for the build so when i click on the start the animation should be a start but uh, here we forgot one property is the target so our target is a progress bar so on the progress bar with property we apply the animation just simple mistake so now let's run the application and check it so you can see the progress bar also we can apply the some animation or glow effect or graphical effect so now let's start it so first of all let's uh, apply the uh, glow effect here so let's use the glow glow effect so anchor fill property as the progress bar where we apply the our grow effect okay so just simply copy the name and source is also progress bar set the radius so radius is a uh, let's set six and uh, color is a uh, light shine so here we apply the uh, shine so let's some um, apply the uh, alpha channel here so let's set the uh, completely transparent right now here okay let's set the sample here is a uh, two and uh, spread set uh, 0 0.1 and visible is a uh, by default true and uh, set the opposite so here we also apply the uh, animation on our opposite proper property so behavior on opposite so opposite will change while the progress bar value is increment 
so also you have set the number and emission set the duration duration is uh, let's set uh, 300 and uh, set uh, async time async dot type is a uh, in out point okay also we have to apply the uh, this animation while the our progress bar value is also increment so let's take one more animation here so let's create a number animation so our target is glow effect properties opacity and uh, from value is uh, 0.0, .0 and two value is uh, 1.0 set your duration is uh, 500 and so you can simply remove this code from here to and paste here otherwise you can also write the code here but uh, this property apply after the end the number and emission will be finished so here we apply only here and we have to run this uh, both animation as uh, as the same time so let's use a parallel animation now just simply put both animation in the parallel animation group and set the id for the parallel animation so when we start the animation the both animation will run simultaneously and now let's check it so you can see the glow effect uh, uh, our both border side of the our progress bar also you can let's change the first of all color for the our glow effect so now let's set uh, and now let's check it so you can see that the glow effect of our progress bar you can also apply your desired color for the specific glow effect so this is our simple animated progress bar slider control see this is code is a very simple uh, we uh, write around 105 line of code but we remove the brackets so it's around uh, only 80 to 90 line of code okay so this is the code is simple but whenever you apply this kind of functionality in your application your application value should be uh, will be increased okay so this code is simple and look like a simple code but uh, this whenever you apply this code on your on um, add this functionality in your application that application looks like an advanced animation control uh, applications so, so this is a code for our sim uh, stylish animated progress bar and please drop your comment if you have any questions about this uh, functionality and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you